Okay, what's up, guys? My name is T Moss Boss, and I wanted to let you guys know about Anchor. Anchor is an app that you can download to record your podcast in the easiest way ever. Like, it doesn't require a whole lot to know. Like, you just pretty much press record and you just start doing your podcast and stuff. I don't know what you plan on doing, but you plan on doing something. That's why you're here. So yeah, download Anchor, or you could go to their website, anchor.fm, and yeah, you could do it straight from your computer too. So yeah, it's easy. They distribute everything to any, or yeah, they distribute your podcast to every streaming services like out there, Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere, okay? And then you can monetize it. So you're making money off of what you love doing, all right? So people, make sure you do it. Make sure you download Anchor or you go to their website, anchor.fm. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for listening. Peace. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to season two of the T-Moss Boss Show. I am excited. I am happy because I'm on season two of my show. Like, I've never had, like, a second season to a show. Like, I renewed my show. Like, and it's, watch watch my show get canceled. Like, if, how, how would that even be possible, though? Like, I'm behind it. Like, unless, like, the, like, anchor.fm or somebody, they just decide, like, oh, we ain't gonna broadcast the show anymore. I can see, like, my haters trying to get something like that to happen and things. Like, it's... People petty, though. People are just really petty and things. But, no, today was a really good day. Like, I seen some old... I seen an old friend from high school that really kind of, like, just brightened up my mood and things. Um, what else? Uh, I got me a new... Some new shoes. I got these, uh, Jordan 1 Reacts. They're honestly, like, if you're a sneakerhead... Think of like, yeah, think of like the Jordan 1s, like the original Jordan 1s, but like with some new material added to it. So that's kind of like, it overall does look like a Jordan 1 shoe, but it has like some modern material to it and stuff. So I like that. I like that a lot. I And it's like my birthday is this Saturday. Like, no, th- today was good. Today, I, I honestly think that this is going to be a really good week. Like, I, I hope that it is. Like, a God... God, if you're hearing if you're hearing my words right now, please, all right, continue this week a good week, please. But I don't know, like I overall see things like if I'm experiencing something bad, I just hope somebody is out there experiencing something good. So if I uh, if I do have a bad week, I just I I I feel like that somebody in this world they're having a good week and it's a good positive week, something that's gonna make them smile, happy, being positive and things. So, uh, yeah, I feel like that's how you got to look at stuff. But anyways, today's episode, I am going to be talking about going to events for the first time. Now, I have to say that I've been to pretty much, like, every event, except, like, a boxing or, like, a UFC fight. But, like, I've been to, I've been to, a, um, like, a few basketball games. Uh, I've been to WWE shows. I went to a football show. My uh, good friend of mine took me to my uh, first concert. I went to go see this uh, rapper named NF. He's pretty good. I would recommend y'all to go listen to him and stuff. But um, yeah, all shows are like unique in their own way. I had to say, I know my earliest memories of going to uh, basketball games because I went to the uh, Seattle Storms and uh, go see them. I don't even remember who was playing. Like I was a kid, honestly just went there for the mascot and the free stuff that they gave us. And it's like a field trip. Like, you don't even know what you're doing on the field trip. You're just having fun on this field trip, all right? So, yeah, I I went to, like, some Seattle Storm games when I was a kid. I think I put glue on my lips at some point in time. I did, like, some dumb stuff as a kid. I don't even know why. It was like, why would they even give us glue? I thought it was chapstick. Like, I was like, oh, dope. They gave us... That's why I'm, like, using chapstick till this day. I don't know what I'm putting on my lips, so... I just, yeah, good old licking, and um, yeah, I'm straight for the day, all right? Drink me some water or something, but anyways, uh, then they gave us, and then my stuff got, like, I think it was stolen by another kid, and I was, like, I was the only kid there without, like, anything, so I was, like, that's just, like, you know, messed up on my part, 
like with my all these other kids they got like you know those like fake glasses with the funny nose and the uh mustache and i don't know it didn't really work for me because i'm black and so it's like of course all those stuff is gonna be like a white nose and all that and i'm like man like y'all ain't got stuff for colored people and things like i noticed that in places i noticed that even i like i remember like going into party city i don't know if they really changed that now but if you get like some makeup like during halloween and stuff and uh they don't have like stuff for black people like i i noticed that i'm like bro like how what what's what's the problem here like i i would like to get some fake cuts and you know scratches and things like only thing that you could put there is blood like that's about it that's why you see any black person in halloween you just see them with like blood and stuff on their face they can't use all that makeup stuff that they got going on unless they trying out for a tv show that's the only way you can get that type of stuff but anyways getting off subject but yeah i got my stuff uh stolen and when i went to the seattle storms game i overall had fun we had food seen the mascot mascot he like he did like some like weird biting towards my he didn't like actually bite me but he just got like the mascot like head and put it over my head and of course you know as a kid you're just having fun like you know you just having yourself a good time and things but um what else like i think yeah i never went to a sonics game i would really like to go to a sonic team. i had never been to a, a like an actual like nba basketball game I've been to a, like, WNBA game, which is not bad. Like, that's dope. Like, I could say, as a kid, like, I, I would like to go to one now. Like, I would like to see the, like, Seattle Storms play now and, you know, like, know, like, what's going on and things. But um, I should do that. I should watch, like, because I've been watching, like, a lot of, like, NBA videos, like, heated players and all that stuff. I, I need to see if they got any, like, WNBA moments because I feel like I ain't seen every, like, crazy moment in the NBA, like, now I gotta see like the crazy moments in the WNBA because I I know they had to be getting into some arguments and fights. Watch they don't. I feel like they 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 don't, and then they're just like I'm gonna search it up, and they're gonna be all like, "What? What? Are you, YouTube's gonna be like, what are you talking about? Like there's there, there has not been one recorded fight in the WNBA. But um, anyways, yeah, because they're probably like, of course they ain't gonna be fighting in front of us like when I was kids and things. They're like it hey, go whole um like kids like hey, like bunch of different grades and kids and of like all different cultures i don't know what cultures have to do with anything but yeah it can't be fighting in front of kids but i feel like basketball players they they don't care men or women but anyways um yeah i, I went to a harlem globe trailer game i went with my best friend ryan that was a good day that's like one of those things i wonder if i, I don't think i oh i wonder if i still got my shirt I probably can't fit it no more, but I'm like, I put in like a picture frame or something and just like put it up on my wall. But yeah, I went to a Harlem Globe Trailers game. I think I might still got the videos up on YouTube, like the bad, the really bad camera that I had. I think I was recording it off of an, uh, one of those like $30 phones from AT&T. Like that's what I was using back in the day and things. It was a good phone though. I liked that phone. That phone was nice, but, uh, anyways um yeah and then uh after that then i remember i went to my first wrestling show i went to my first wrestling show when i was 11 and that's when i was like around that time because i just moved to a uh, federal way so i ain't really like have any friends i ain't really have like and i had like my own room and i had my own tv and i'm like well dang i can watch anything now like i'm like what can i watch like i can watch all the cartoons i want I um, wanted watching things, and I remember I think I was flipping through the channels and seeing wrestling for the first time. And uh, yeah, I remember I seen it was Batista spearing the Undertaker off of a ramp. The whole like stage like fell apart, explosions happened, and I don't know like to me like that that hit home for me. Like I loved that. Yeah, these guys pretty much like hurt themselves <laughs> it could have possibly died but it entertained me all right i think that's what people are just like not understanding it entertained me all right so uh yeah i was like i at that point in time i was already a fan um yeah probably my favorite wrestlers batista jeff hardy uh what other wrestlers um i think those are like the, the honestly the only two that i really enjoy watching and things I, I like honestly i should just go on youtube like along with the wnba videos watch some batista and jeff hardy moments and things but uh anyways yeah i went to monday night raw and i went to the last uh pay-per-view of no way out so like the last time they showed no way out which was in 2009 i went to that one and uh i don't know i feel like that seattle is just honestly a bad spot for like 
any form of shows and things like of course of course like musicians like everybody's gonna listen to music but i feel like that there ain't a whole lot of like wwe fans in washington state so and i like i remember when i went to that show and it was like barely there was like on this side where they'd be recording the camera and things there'd be like nobody sitting in those seats and things and i'm like me and my dad we could have it's funny because when we were ordering the um tickets the call had dropped because like we had like a we one my dad he was making a call off of sprint and if you guys are like sprint like users and things you know a call can drop at any given moment okay you got five minutes to make your phone call after that after those five minutes that call is gone and so yeah that's what happened um we were supposed to get like third row i could have probably been on tv and everything but no we were sitting in the like 28th row so we can I can barely see anything. But overall, I had myself a good time. I was hanging out with my dad. I was hanging out with the rest of my family. Yeah, I was having myself a good time. Like I wasn't going to like just be like, oh, this is bad because I'm I'm in a 20 or something row and things. Like, no, I had myself a good time. And that was why I went to Monday Night Raw. Then afterwards I went to a No Way Out. Because they was like handing out flyers, like, oh yeah, no way out's happening in February and things. And so yeah, I was like, that was fun. Like that was really fun because the other time, it was like, it was me and my dad and my cousin and my uh, uncle, they were sitting like all the way on the other side. But um, yeah, that uh, when we went to No Way Out, we pretty much had like the whole road to ourselves. That was seriously so fun. It was my uncle, uh, well, I, I don't know, I feel like I should. Well, okay, my uncle JJ, that's his nickname. And uh, my other uncle, my cousin, my dad, and myself, and we were all like, I got into an argument with my uncle JJ about who was gonna win between uh, Shawn Michaels and no, what it was it was it Shawn Michaels? No, it was uh, Shane McMahon and uh, Randy Orton. Cause I remember that was like that match. That was like when they were having like this big like McMahon versus Orton uh, rival and stuff. And so I was like, that was that was pretty cool seeing that. Uh, what else? what else happened that night um i remember no it was like i remember when i went to the monday night raw showing i think i yelled or screamed this kid gonna turn around and look at me like can you please be quiet and things like he didn't say that overall if he had said that i choke slammed him but no he like gave me a look like could you please be quiet i'm like all of these people thousands of people screaming yelling booing cheering you gonna look at me like i'm i'm causing a distraction like, I'm like, I'm like, man, if you don't turn back around, like, I seriously will rock bottom you, okay? Don't, don't look at me like that. But anyways, overall, after all of that, like, I, I, I still had a good time. WWE, it's loud, though. Like, no, nah, it's seriously loud. Like, when they, them pyro, like, them explosions and stuff go off, oh my goodness. I think they had to announce that Kane was coming out because his explosion would catch you off guard. If you don't know the wrestler Kane, so you'll just be sitting there just chilling, right? All of a sudden, boom! Loud noise goes off. You don't know what's happening. Kane, he liked to have like this big, because I guess he's from hell, but he liked to have like this like big, like fiery uh, thing going off. And I'm like, bro, what is... If you've never been to a wrestling show and you go and then Kane decides to come out, you would probably thought that something was going on. And like, we need to hurry up and go because this whole place is about to blow up, all right? And it's starting with all the wrestlers and things like it. I'm like, you, you, got, you got to be like being careful with those shows, man, with those wrestlers' explosions going up. Like, that's what I'm like, to shout out to the wrestlers that don't be having all those explosions and things going up. Like, y'all the real MVPs. Like, I was covering my ears throughout that whole performance. And even when I went to the uh, second one. But I remember I did take a lot of pictures, though. I should, um, I don't even think. I, I probably, I, I think I lost all those pictures. All those pictures are gone. I can't, I don't even think I can find them or anywhere. Unless, I, I think my camera is somewhere. I probably had to put batteries in it. But I think I still got the memory card. I could probably, yeah, do that. Get to find the memory card and then just plug it up to my, uh, to my uh laptop but um yeah wrestling shows are pretty dope it's just loud though i was like dang man like i don't see how people can just go to this like all the time like there's this one guy on tv i wreck he's like a super fan of wrestling and it's funny because a wrestler wrote about him in his book but he always be wearing these hats but you see him like all the times in the wrestling show and i'm like dude why are you like 
what what's the reason of like just going to these wrestling shows like every time i'm like dang at some point in time i've been like i i can't do that nah they're like people be doing stuff like that it doesn't even have to be wrestling it could be anything basketball uh uh wwe soccer football i would like to go to a soccer game i would like to go to a soccer game i remember i had the opportunity to go to a baseball game but it was like one of those late games and uh like where i live and things it's kind of like hard to get home and i'm like i ain't trying to get home late and then it's like my like bus ain't here or ain't running and stuff so i gave the tickets there's one of my friends she uh she loves um like baseball and so i gave the tickets to her yeah i'm a nice person i do nice things for people but um yeah i gave the tickets to her and then uh i like one of these days one of these days i'm gonna have to i hopefully they bring back the sonics and then when they bring a hockey team i would like to go to a hockey game a sonics game uh and a um freaking sounders like how did i forget the name to the own soccer team soccer team of seattle but uh yeah, but I went to a Seahawks game. A Seahawks is, um, game is pretty cool because you're friends with everybody. Like, there's this drunk lady. So, no, let me just tell you guys, like, the environment of a Seahawks game or just a football game because it, it's probably, like, the same thing everywhere. But, um, so you go in there chilling, right? It's kind of like, I don't know. Like, how, how can I describe the scenery? It is cold when I, because I went in, um, I went in, uh, December and so it was like man i was cold i was like i was wearing a hoodie but i was wearing my seahawks jersey but i'm like dang i should have maybe wore another hoodie or a jacket or something but um yeah i was like i went there sit with my dad sit with my uncle it's the three of us or, or no actually no it's four of us it was uh, my dad then my other two uncles and then myself and so yeah it was the four of us i know math but uh anyways we're sitting there we're chilling barely you can even see the players i'm like dang man like you need to have binoculars if you're gonna be sitting like high up and i felt like where i was sitting at like yeah yeah you need some binoculars because i couldn't make out what was happening all right so uh overall like i was um watching the game but there is this drunk lady that kept turning around every single time like when the crowd would be screaming or yelling she'll just be all, like in drunk voice she'll be, like hey why are you not so you gotta you 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 gotta scream with the crowd you gotta like that like you gotta scream with the crowd i'm like lady i i didn't come here to scream like i'm not a screaming person i'm not a yelling person i did that one time in wwe because i was just excited i was happy i was a kid think when i went to that game like i was like yeah i was in high school i think it was like right before we went to the uh, Super Bowl, and that was, I think, yeah, it was that season where we won the Super Bowl, but, um, yeah, I was, like, so I was in high school and stuff, as I got older, that whole screaming thing, like, I, I don't know, like, I, I don't be screaming just for the fun of it, especially around random people and stuff, so, yeah, I was, like, I wasn't a screaming person, but she was insisting that I scream, and then it got to the point where it was, like, people wasn't even screaming, she'll just turn around and look at me, she's, like, why are you not you gotta scream, scream with the crowd. I'm like, I, lady, we, they had to see, it's time out. Like they did a half time. They ain't even doing nothing now. And my dad's just cracking up. He's just looking over at me, just smiling, laughing. I'm like, dad, this ain't funny. Like you need to understand, like I, I didn't come up here for this and things. And so, and then there was a, so no. So it was the Seahawks and there was a Saint, at the time, the St. Louis Rams. Which was, by the way, a really good game. It was a St. Louis Rams player. I guess he uh, was mad that a referee had made a bad call. So he swung his arm out to, like, I guess was, like, enraged or something and hit the referee in his face. Got ejected from the game. Got so mad and just exploded his helmet on the turf or on the field. And, uh, yeah, you just see parts of his helmet just flying and things. I thought that was just so dope seeing that. I was cracking up and things. But, uh, yeah, I was like, that was the one time I was like, if I'm going to show any emotions and things, well, I'm going to be yelling or screaming. It's going to probably be me laughing or something. But, um, yeah, so it was uh, Seahawks and the St. Louis Rams at the time out of all of those fans that was there. Because, yeah, it was like quite a few like Rams fans and there was a quite a few Seahawks fans, of course, taking place in Seattle. There was the one 49ers fan that was there arguing with everybody. And we're trying to, like, tell dude, well, everybody else, they were trying to, like, tell dude, like, bro, your team ain't even playing right now. 
Why are you here? Like, you at the wrong... First off, you're in the wrong um, city. Second, yeah, like, you're like you at the wrong game, okay? Third, why? For what? What, what do you... What, what's, what's the problem here? Like, I... Like, man, I just didn't understand, like, why he was there and stuff. And he was just like, yeah, just, like, screaming and yelling at everybody. Drunk, of course. But, um... You know what? Because it's like, I, I just realized like the time. So I'm going to try to hurry up and like rush through this podcast because I want to put on some chicken strips and things. So I'm sorry. But anyways, um, so yeah, 49ers fan was there for no odd reason. Um, just, yeah, for just random reasons. Didn't even make any sense. But uh, overall, it was pretty cool. Seahawks won. Uh, my uncle, he didn't want them to win. So I remember we were taking the train back to uh, where I was like closer to my house. And it was funny because he's all the way at the other end of the train. It was me, my dad, and my uncle. Then my other uncle was like at the end of the train, just mad, just so upset and things. And uh, me and my dad, my other uncle, we got probably some other, yeah, some other Seahawks fans too. We're pointing and laughing at him, which is embarrassing. I'm like, bro, you shouldn't even have done that and things. Oh, yeah. Then the, back to the drunk leg because I was going to mention that. Uh, so when the Seahawks scored, I guess like by default, I was friends with her and her uh, family and stuff. Because it was, it, I think it was either her husband, somebody that she knew that was sitting next to her and things. So when the Seahawks scored, they turned around, looked at us, started high-fiving me, my dad, and my uncle. And, uh, of course, like my other uncle, he wasn't even supporting the Hawks and things. But, yeah, I was like, all right, yeah, I guess we all friends here. So I think, yeah, Seahawks games, maybe even soccer games, too, because they look like everybody be cool with each other. You're probably going to be coming friends with um, people at those games. I honestly wish I had got down those guys' names and stuff because I'm like, no, y'all chill. Y'all chill. I like you guys. But then uh, now, um, yeah, last uh um a music concert so yeah i went to uh i went to like a music show it's like in this uh building it wasn't like an actual like outside concert and things but um i went to go see a uh, nf perform in soto and so uh, which was cool and but man the line was long like it was like one of those like disneyland um like lines and stuff because i was like they so we when me and my friend we got there we walked like we walked past the entrance but then we walked further down the street okay probably like we probably walked like maybe like two and a half three blocks we walked down curved walked down again curved and we were like looking at the back of the building like that's how far we were in line and stuff then eventually i don't even know how everybody managed to get in there because i'm like as long as this line was and as small as that building was like yeah it was pretty crammed in there and stuff like you you couldn't really walk around or do a whole lot but uh anyways um yeah it was pretty dope like going to a, um, my first music concert i wore the wrong shoes i wore i definitely wore the wrong shoes i wore these uh adidas alpha bounces i haven't worn them shoes since like, I was like, I man, my feet was hurting bad in those shoes, all right? Then, plus, like, standing in the same spot. Then I was, it, it got to, because, no, my friend, she brought her uh, her two sisters and her brother. She disappeared somewhere. I couldn't even make out where she was at. But I was standing, like, um, right next to her family. So it's like, to me, it was awkward, because I'm like, I don't even know you guys that much. I know your sister more in things. Like, I've talked with her more than you guys. Like, not like not to, like, just, like, single them out and stuff. I was just like, I, I don't even know, like, what like what, what conversations do we have and things. Like, I don't I don't know what to do and stuff. So, anyways, um, but, yeah, it was pretty dope. NF, he did, like, a really good performance. Um, it, it was funny. At some point in time, he, like, stood up on this thing, and you couldn't even see his face. So it was like, you can even see like the upper part of his body and things. So dude was just performing, just like forgetting the fact that, hey, people want to like see your face. But no, I do have videos of that. Um, I think I got like a few photos of the Seahawks game. But yeah, the wrestling shows and then of course like the storms. Like I was in preschool or elementary when I, got the, when I went to those storms games. So I didn't have like no camera and stuff. But um, yeah. All of those events, they're all pretty fun in their own way. Like, as long as you're with some people and things, you're going to have yourself a good time. So, anyways, uh, yeah, that has been another podcast to write down in the books. The first episode of season two, like, man, 
I'm happy. I'm I'm really happy. This is a good. And I even had to. This is my first take. This is like this, oh, this is the best podcast ever. This is my first and only take. I have to do multiple takes and things. I have my TV on. They're showing wrestling right now. WWE Monday Night Raw is on. I didn't even get distracted. I didn't even get distracted. So this this was this was good. I'm happy. I didn't get distracted. This is my first take. Cool. I'm going to. I right, like you know what because I feel like I'm about to mess up. So I'm just going to end this podcast now. So for that, for those out there, uh, yeah, watching or listening, whatever you guys are doing, uh, yeah. Oh wow, dang! Freaking Roman Reigns' car just got hit. Somebody's out trying to kill this man. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for listening to this podcast. This is the first episode of season two. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. And peace.